Hey there everybody, it's Verity here from Inkabutterfly.com. Thank you so much for joining me again for another card making video. Uh, we're back to snowflakes, because I love snowflakes. And um, I have decided to case the catalogue uh, to do something a bit more fancy. Uh, these sort of uh, lots of layered cards aren't... Um, oh, whoops. I don't find easy to create. Um, so I've used the catalogue um, to help me um, think about how to lay this out uh, and put my own little spin on certain things. Um, so this is, uh, you can see sort of a version of this in the catalogue um, on, I probably should have marked this page, should I not? This page here, page 45. So I'm using this um, image here. Uh, to help me plan this out but as you can see I have made a few little tweaks here and there um, I think this is Pool Party and uh, Lost Lagoon so I've just changed the colours slightly and done something slightly different and twisted it round and stuff but that's how I started um, and I think I really like the result on this one okay um, so we're using the one of the kind bundle. So this is a lovely stamp set and comes with um, a little mini set of dies. There's two dies, one that cuts around this and then another standalone detail die. We're going to create the sentiment uh, banner thing with the nested essentials because this, this is a really nice unusual shape to use. Um, I've used it to make other car backgrounds before um, but I like the the idea of layering the two shapes together which I hadn't really thought about and then I'm going to bring in the falling snow background which is super cute right okay um, you could do some really really nice simple cards um, just using this as the background and then just um, using the sentiment so if you can imagine that scale back with in fact as we go go through I'll show you that um, so you can jazz this up or keep it as simple as you want really okay and um, look great embossed wouldn't it as well or um, even um, an embossed resist or anything like that um, to keep it sort of minimal but give it lots of impact literally just thought of that oh that's our page marker whoops let's just pop that back on there so um, as I say I switched up the colours a little bit um, I actually used a uh, pretty peacock and there's a little bit of Lost Lagoon in the background as well and then Summer Splash to give it that brightness okay and that's where that's the ink on the back here and for the background okay uh, and the Lost Lagoon's here in the background as well and then loads of gems loads of rhinestones to give it some twinkle and that frosty feeling okay so we're going to um, mix this up and rather than going for this sort of monochromatic look I'm going to introduce um, other colours Okay, so I'm going to use a panel here, which I think is three and a half by five and a quarter. Yep. And we've just got a basic white card base. Okay. So we'll pop that to one side. So the background then, whoops, should, should have got the stamp out. I'm just going to put pop this straight onto my work surface to use. And just stick that down. I've got like a... um desk pad thing um, so this will keep keep still on here and it's wiped clean so um, I'm gonna go with greys and pinks to have um, a bit of a different retro sort of um, feel to it so I'm gonna pull in bu bubble bath as the lightest color here um, for this background stamp so it's gonna give us that fill up that white space but not be super overpowering okay so just inking that up okay I don't think I'm going to use that ink pad again but we'll we never know I'm kind of um, making this up as a go I've got a rough plan but uh, obviously I haven't tried it with these different colors and stuff so let's just make sure that's the right way around so I'm just going to drop that onto here try not to move it and then I'm just going to use some scrap paper just to help me press all over that okay 
there's loads of different ways um, to use the background stamps. Um, I find the big block a little cumbersome. So I prefer to do it this way. Okay, and you get a really nice soft background there with that bubble bath ink. So we can give that a bit of a wipe over. Um, and I will clean that off properly when we are done. So just get the worst of that ink off. And I'm going to pop that back in its case so it doesn't get anything get old messy. Okay, so that's our background kind of done. Okay, um, actually, I've told a fib. We are going to have to do some stamping over the top. So on this one, I actually stuck it down before um, I'd added all the additional stamping that I wanted to do on the background. So I'm not going to stick it down uh, too soon, uh, just so that I can put all these swirly bits on and just make sure they're in the right place. So we'll pop that to one side for a sec. Okay, and then we'll bring in some other stuff. So I've already gone ahead and done some of the die cutting because it's die cutting. Okay, so the little um, snowflake dies. As I say, you get two. You get this outline one and you get a detailed one. Okay, so I've used the detailed one to cut out three white snowflakes. I've also got one in smoky slate here. Okay. And I need one more in smoky slate, so I'm going to pop that ready to die cut on my cutting plate over there. Um, I've already cut a strip of smoky slate for this banner portion here. And I've just flagged the ends there. If you've got a punch or something to do that, then obviously you can use that. Or you can just freehand cut it with your paper snips. And then I've got these two dies from the uh, nested essentials. So we're going to need some paper to do some uh, die cutting and some stamping. So we're going to need this guy um, die cut out. So we'll pop him in place. We need to do our sentiment. So that's going to fit there. So let's stamp our sentiment and I've opted for basic grey. Smoky Slate's a little pale, in my, in my opinion, for um, a sentiment. So I'm going to go with basic grey and pop that there. And we'll use this die to cut that out. So just centre that over the um, over that sentiment, and we are going to need um, a couple of the larger snowflakes. So what I'm going to actually do is use some scrap paper here, and I'm actually going to use Moody Mauve. And I'm going to stamp it off once and then pop that down. And when you stamp off this stamp, it kind of gives you a dark edge but the faded sort of um, detail, which I think is quite cool. So we're going to do two of them. Okay, they, they look really cool. Look really cool. Okay, let's get that wiped off. Let's pop this moody move away just for a moment. So we'll have another piece of tape here. So I want to do as much die cutting in one pass as possible to make this as efficient as possible. Okay. So that will fit. You don't want your dies to overlap because that would be a disaster. In fact, I might do that on the second pass, the smoky slate one. I'm going to take that smoky slate one off just for a minute. And I'm going to just use my plate here to do these three. And then we'll do that one and that one on the second pass. Okay. So we're going to just run those through. 
nice and quick. So it's a good, you know, when you've got the larger die cutting machine, this is one of the, the big advantages to this in that uh, you can actually do more than one image at the same time. So peel that back nice and carefully. So we've got our nice little sentiment that's going to go in there. Don't need that anymore. I'm going to leave that one as it is just for the minute. And then we're going to reposition this larger snowflake. It's very easy to line up with those little bubbles on the end of each of those um, uh, snowflake arms, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so we'll pop that on and we'll do this one at the same time. Don't need any tape on that, it's not lining up anything, so we'll just do it straight onto the, the plate there. And we'll run that through as well. There we go. So just two passes of the die cut machine and we've got everything cut out that we wanted for those extra ones. Obviously those other snowflakes did need to be done um, as well. But again, if you you know try and try and um, do as many cuts as you can on one plate, and if you've got the mini machine, obviously it's going to take a few more um, passes through. So we'll just get rid of those, and you'll end up with this lovely detailed die here, which we can. Just poke out with these little release holes at the end and just use your favourite pokey tool to just pull that out the die and you get this lovely detailed snowflake. Isn't that cool? Okie dokie. Right, so I've got those, got those, got those. We just need to do some inking through our die and onto our snowflakes so I'm going to bring in some scrap paper okay it does need to peel this away gently but I want to leave the die in place okay and I also want to add a little bit of ink to these guys as well but we're going to use different ink I think so I'm going to use the um, a grey brush on this one and my smoky slate ink oops in fact actually shall I use bubble bath to give it that extra bit of because I'm my original card I use the lightest colour just to give it a bit of oomph and I did the lightest colour on the snowflakes but I'm going to I think I'm going to use no actually yeah let's go with bubble bath on all of these. Told you I sort of had a plan but not a plan. Okay. I take really just the slightest bit of ink and we're just going to go around the edge of this die. You will want to wipe this off afterwards. Don't really want all that ink stain on there. Okay. And then when you take away the die you get just this little hint of a white edge so you can see it more on this colour because it's darker okay so obviously it's almost used, acted like a little mask which means that you get that contrast for this other sentiment could have gone a little heavier if you wanted to but I want to I go with something a little softer okay and then I'm just going to use whatever's left on here just to add some ink but not a lot um, to one edge of this now, I think I've run out of ink. There we go. Some bits darker than others. Which is fine. I'm going to go for something a little bit more sort of rustic. There we go. So it's not completely um, pink, but you've got that hint of the pink coming through. Okay. 
lovely. So we've got all our die cuts. Okay, and we want to build up a little bit more on this background. Uh, but before I do that, I think I'm going to just pop some of this stuff together so that it starts to um, to dry and adhere. Okay. So first of all, these two snowflakes are going to be layered with the smoky slates. And not necessarily in the centre either. Okay. But I'm just going to use a bit of white glue. Uh, white glue. This is wet glue. <laughs> okay. And I'm just going to pop some in the centre there and just sort of line those up. So, so obviously those can be put to one side to dry a little. Oops, let's pop those up over there. Our sentiment banner. I'm just going to use a bit of stamping seal. Across the middle there. I'm just going to look at, line that up. The text is just about the right um, width for this. This is just an off cut. Um, so I didn't actually measure the width of this, but if you want to know, it's a little over half an inch, but not quite three quarters. Okay, so that's there like that. And we're going to want to put that on um, the back of the card um, and it's going to overlap some ribbon. So I'm going to pop just these little strips of dimensionals. These are the edge strips that I keep hold of just in case um, I want to sort of stick down anything with a straight edge or it's really good for skinny sentiments as well. So if I was just sticking down this for example that would be a really good use of it. But I'm just leaving that trough there because that's going to allow some room for this lovely textured ribbon. What do they actually call this? Frayed, frayed grow grain ribbon, which is just in white, but it's got this really lovely fluffy sort of texture to it, which I kind of thought looked like, you know, when you get that sort of frost build up, you know, in the in the movies, you get all that lovely sort of build up and stuff. So we're going to use this and I'm going to use a little bit of wet glue across the middle of this um, funny shape, whatever this shape's called. I'm going to lay that across the top. We've kind of, there's that kind of a flatter side and a bumpy side, so we'll keep the bumpy side up. You'll know what I mean if you've got it in front of you. So that sits quite flat and then the edge just sort of sits up, which is kind of cool, okay? And then this guy can go over the top of that. And the, the ribbon hook will mostly lie in that middle bit there. But just to help it along, I'm just going to pop a bit of wet glue on there, which will make it nice and strong. Okay. And then we'll trim down the excess ribbon when everything's had a chance to adhere. So I can feel that that's made contact and it's sitting nice and flat so that's done what it needs to do okay your acrylic blocks are really good little weights to pop on things so that they can dry for a little while okay so i'm just going to pop that to one side with that on top and we can do a little bit more on the background so if i bring in this uh this card just to help me with um how i'm going to do this so these sort of swirly bits i want to add in now so I want a few at the top and a, sort of to fill in a little bit of the gap at the bottom. So um, I figured I could use the Moody Mo for this. Okay, I might even bring in a bit of the. Um, I might bring in a bit of the grey as well. 
just to sort of key it in a bit because the grey only really appears in that sentiment bit at the bottom so we're going to use this little swirly doodad and we're going to aim them somewhere around here okay and we'll pop another one maybe up here just in different directions and that's missed a little bit but it doesn't matter it's fine so I'm just going to do four of them and then we'll fill in the rest with the other colours. I might even bring in some of the bubble bath as well, but I think it's a bit light. Okay. Quick keep with the smoky slate as well, as we've got all the mauve going in, which would be in keeping with the um the other elements on the card. But this stamp's quite cool in that you can kind of overlap it and make that look like it's an extension of the um, of the image, which is kind of cool. It's even better when you stamp it properly. So you can really kind of make those designs really kind of fit together, which I think is really, really sweet. add some more here and there and I'm going to see if I can actually improve on this one because that's just annoyed me a little bit that that's halfway there and of course it's going to show so I'm just going to hover over that and that's the beauty of clear stamps yep it's not too bad could be better but it's not too bad and then we can maybe pop one in here that sort of joins the two together a little bit um, yeah, so you can kind of embellish this as much as you want to, but obviously you want it to be seen underneath your little sentiment thing, so let's just pop that in. But you're also going to fill it in a little bit with your, your snowflakes and stuff, so just to bear that in mind. And then... I think I will bring in some um, bubble bath as well, so I'll just wipe that off. And just pop some of that in. Which I think will just fill in some of these gaps here. Just make it look a little bit more complete. Totally optional. I think it will make a difference. Well, it will to me anyway. Okay. Oh, I'm liking it actually. I think this looks good. A bit more up here. Oh, went very quiet then because I was concentrating. Okay. That's probably enough. So those darker colours help frame everything up. This guy's going to go on with dimensionals, but let's put this onto the card base first. So we'll just use some stamping seal for that. And pop that on. And... What? Okay. This is going to go on with some dimensionals, so let's just grab those. So I'm going to do one at each end there and a couple in the middle just to make sure it's nice and secure. Okay, and again if you want wriggle room, pop some um, uh, liquid adhesive behind it and you'll be able to still move that around a little bit if you need to and now that's in place we can trim off our ribbon ends because we know where they're, they're going to end and I'm not particularly trying to get them straight I'm just going to cut those off there we are and then we can mess about with 
getting the other guys um, all, all fitted in around it. So, oops, let's see if we can actually pick these up, shall we? There we go. Blimey. Fingers and thumbs today, guys. Don't know why. Okay, let's pop this guy in. So it's going to hit that dimensional, I think. So we'll just, just go with where it will sit, which apparently is there. This guy here. Don't really want them in a line necessarily, so I just want to mix that up a little bit. Okay, and then we've got our other little detail bits here. So again, just popping some glue in the middle really, and then um, deciding where I want these. So this will help us, you know, it's delicate enough to show through some of that darker stamping so took that in there let's have one over here that's overhanging that and that's actually looking very nice just want something to hold that down just for a minute Okay. Then we'll pop this other one in at the top on the other side. That's going to overhang that side, which again is cute. I want those to be a little bit different orientation, I think. Try not to make it too symmetrical, but it kind of looks a bit symmetrical, but you know, it's very um, challenging sometimes to um, get a layout that doesn't look like it's um, planned, if you know what I mean, and whilst I am planning it, you know, I want it to look kind of natural, but there you go. So, in terms of embellishment then, thought we could use these pearls which are basic grey and smoky slate which is the colours that we are using um, I think the smoky slate ones are kind of shinier and um, that would be my my guess so let's go with that and we'll pop a couple of these larger ones in so there's just the two sizes for these, but I want them to be interspersed across the card a little bit. So not necessarily keeping to my rule of threes or odd numbers. Just want to really keep this like nice and sparkly but also balanced if I can okay and maybe we want one up here as well it's a real sort of smattering of those across the card rather than you know, like I say, the uh, my normal sort of layout for my embellishments. So just really sort of blinging it up and making it real fancy because it is fancy. Um, okay, I think I like that combination. I think so. Love this one. Okay. Um, so there you go. Ideas for you. Don't forget that you can use your catalogue and lift some ideas out of that and make them your own. Okay, so... Um, I think that's worked out quite nicely in fact so um, just to remind you then so we had 
basic grey smoky sp slate moody mauve and bubble bath went into uh, this one uh, this one was pretty peacock lost lagoon and summer splash okay and you know you don't have to keep it monochromatic you don't have to keep it traditional you can use whatever colors you you like thinking as well um if you have a winter wedding coming up a different sentiment on there would be very very beautiful and you could make that um, fit in with the the bridal colors and stuff like that so i think that would be really nice or even a winter birthday there you go using your your uh, recipients favorite colors and things okay okay um i hope you've enjoyed that um do stay safe out there I will see you again soon. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.